These are candy corn sugar cookie bars, and welcome to Seven Nights of Halloween. We're bringing our baking treats every day for the next week. Start by adding four ounces of cream cheese, one cup of softened butter, one and a half cups of sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and half teaspoon of almond extract. And we're back. Next, add in two eggs, mixing after each one. Get another bowl and mix together three cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of baking soda, a dash of salt, and one eighth teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Slowly pour the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients until well mixed. Next, chop up a whole package of that Halloween candy everyone hates on, then mix it along with one cup of white chocolate chips and one third cup of fall colored sprinkles in a concoction guaranteed to keep your kids awake for the next 72 hours. Pour this hunk of goo into a 9x13 baking pan and bake at 350 degrees for 40 minutes. Definitely use parchment paper. Don't be like us and spend 20 minutes digging these out of a pan. Whip up some melted chocolate and drizzle that shizzle all over those sugar-filled bars of goodness. Before it has a chance to cool, throw down some sprinkles like your E-Bordy and sit back, dust your shoulders off because these candy corn sugar cookie bars will be an absolute hit. Candy corn bars? Candy corn. corn sugar cookie bars? Yeah, something like that. There's a lot of, a lot. There's a lot. I hope they are as good as they were stuck to the pan. They were greatly stuck to the pan. Mmm. Nice and gooey. That's pretty good. Mmm. There's a whole lot of sugar in that. Yeah, it's like straight sugar. Not real heavy on the candy corn flavor though. Mm -mm. So if you're anti-candy corn, I think you'll be okay. What are these? Candy corn sugar cookie bars. Tastes like sugar. Hmm. Those are good. Those are really good. It's like chewy. Yeah. As good as everything else that we made? So far. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. 